If you're ready to add live chat to your website, it's easy for you to do right inside the HubSpot platform. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. Adding live chat to your website is a great way to engage visitors, answer questions people might have about your products or your services, and luckily inside HubSpot, it's really easy to do. Just set it up inside of the platform and link it to your website. Let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing you wanna do before you set up live chat inside of the portal is you'll need to link your website to HubSpot. And that's done with a little snippet of code or inside of WordPress, there is a plugin to do just that. So if you haven't done that yet, we have a different video, go ahead and bounce over there, watch that and get that set up. And then we can go ahead and dive back into the live chat. So now that your website is integrated with HubSpot, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go here to this conversations tab. And I am actually showing you this in a test portal. So it actually hasn't been set up yet. So I'm gonna bounce back and forth between our test portal and our live portal. So what we're looking at for chats uh, is inside this inbox here. So if this isn't set up, it's gonna say, you know, get this conversation flowing. Where I want you to go is this inbox settings. So inside inbox settings, I'm gonna click on chats. And this is gonna show you what this chat uh, configuration looks like. So uh, depending on what level of HubSpot you're in, you're gonna have different options for uh, styling as well as the different, uh, whether or not it's branded with HubSpot. But uh, here you have accent colors and you can actually um, choose whatever accent color might fit into your brand palettes. And that's gonna show up here when this pops up from the bottom of the window when you're in your website. Uh, that's what color is gonna be reflected here. This uh, test portal dot simple strat, uh, this is again, this is our test portal that will be configured here shortly. So you can choose a color, you can choose your HubSpot branding. This is where the availability of the chat shows up. So during business hours, you can uh, set it based on team member status. Uh, you can have it show always. And if you have it show always, you certainly wanna think about down the line, having uh, a chat flow or a chat bot set up to automate some of those conversations after hours. Um, we're not gonna show you specifically how to do uh, a lot of those automations in this video. In this video, we're just gonna walk through the setup of live chat so you can get it on your website. A uh, pretty common thing for most business to business settings is gonna be to have it show up during business hours. So visitors can chat with your team during, and then you can add and configure your setup here. Uh, during business hours, you can uh, choose to show a reply time. So uh, this is, uh, these are your options here, and then you can also set a custom response. So if that happens to be, you know, days or hours, hopefully, if it's live chat, hopefully it's just gonna be minutes. Um, so we're gonna say typically replies in a few minutes. And then if all team members are away or at capacity, so this is, this is like HubSpot knows that you can't reply to that live chat, then you can show an away message. So that's an excellent way to um, you know, put something here that's, hey, we're really excited for you to, to visit this page, but unfortunately all of our team is busy right now. So um, you know, if you wanna leave your email address, um, we'll talk about that here in a second. Outside of business hours, you can show a return time or again, show an away message and you can put that away message here. Um, we're gonna go to other options here and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave without savings. We didn't do too much there. Um, we can choose to send a transcript at the end of a chat. So that's your toggle on and off button. And then there's an option to set up a team email. So the team email is basically the one giant inbox uh, that everybody would be notified when something happens on your website relative to the, the chat conversation. Uh, so we're not gonna set that up here. Uh, and then this tracking code, again, this is that tracking code that if you integrated your website with uh, HubSpot, this tracking code's already been set up, uh, it runs pretty much everything else. So that uh, tracking code should be good to go. If it, if it isn't, again, go back and watch that other video that we have. So that's customizing the chat here. And um, there's a couple other settings I'll point out real quick before we jump over to what's called a chat flow. Um, the team members, so who can see uh, conversations inbox? Um, I'll show you what this looks like once we get to the conversations uh, over on the on our portal. But uh, this is, you know, if you want to only have certain team members be able to go in and see what's happening on the website, you can set that here. Um, if you use Slack and you want to integrate it to a Slack channel when someone chats on the site, you can do that here as well. Uh, and then that email. So if you want to create a shared team email address that uh, would funnel those chat conversations, again, that can be done here in this window. So to set up a chat flow, so. Again, this chat flows is under here on the conversations. That's actually where we're gonna set up what message appears to someone when they get to that website uh, and what we commonly refer to as that, as that chat window. So I'm gonna bounce over to our portal here and you'll see that right now we have a default message and I'm gonna toggle this off real quick and I'm gonna create a new chat flow. 
So this chat flow is, uh, is built so that you can have some predetermined options. Um, welcoming visitors, it's gonna show you a preview of, of what that looks like over here on the right hand side. If you again want to build a bot, so hey, um, you're on our, let's say, um, consultation page and I can go ahead and just have that bot pop up and say, hey, it looks like you're interested in a free consultation. Can we go ahead and book a meeting? That's what this meeting spot would be. Um, the support bot, um, you can choose to have that knowledge center appear if you happen to use that. And then there's a qualified lead spot. So uh, we don't have it right now um, in this video, but in a future one, we'll show you how to, uh, to set up some of those Again, just getting the live chat set up. So we're gonna use this welcome visitors um, as starting a live chat and we're gonna click on next. Now, once we get to this next screen here, we've got four steps. Um, so build again, so the chat heading is gonna be specific users and teams. So when this pops up in the live chat, it's actually gonna show my name. Um, and, and so whoever is assigned to this, so if I wanted to choose for it to show uh, Jason, um, it could show Ali or Jason are available in the live chat. And this welcome message here, this is your welcome message. So it might be, you know, um, hi there, how can we help? Some good best practices here um, when setting up your live chat is to, uh, if it's if you set it up so that it's a consistent message throughout the site, you want it to be a little more generic in helping people. Um, but if you can think about, uh, if you're on a product and services page, you might set up different chats a chat flows based on what is happening on that page. So a little bit more uh, advanced. And then automatically send incoming conversations to, again, specific users and teams. Uh, that's, again, where you would select a specific person. So I'm gonna choose to send these to myself. Um, and then you can choose to um, get the person's email address. So in case they get disconnected or there's something else that you need to help them with, um, you can ask for their email address uh, in the chat window. And then if nobody, like if our team doesn't respond within a minute, that can pop up and say, hey, we can't get to you right now. Can you leave your email address? And then you can also choose to not ask for an email address. And then this email capture message, again, this can be customized. So um, I personally like this when I'm a user on a website where if they don't get back to me pretty quickly um, and I you know, have, to, have to jump out and go to a meeting, it's nice to have the option to put in my email address where they can contact me later. Um, and then the display options, these are your, um, how you want the, the window to show up. So pop up in the welcome window, excuse me, the welcome message as a prompt, um, show the chat icon, pop the welcome uh, message on mobile. So this is, you're gonna customize how that window appears right here. So we're gonna keep this message. We're gonna turn off the um, don't capture an email address. We're gonna click save. And then I'm gonna go to the who. So show this chat flow to who? So this goes back to what I was talking about where you can show it on specific parts of your website. So this chat flow on everyone shows to everybody who goes to every page on your website. Anonymous visitors, visitors only goes to anyone who has visited your site anonymously. So they, aren't they don't happen to be in your CRM. They're not a logged contact. Um, if you go to tracked contacts, that's anybody who is in your system that has been uh, essentially cookied or pixeled. Um, by the HubSpot uh, code. So that would be if someone's downloaded a content offer or if they happen to um, have you know, registered for something through your HubSpot landing page, these tracked contacts. So let's say uh, you know Bob downloaded our ebook and then when he comes back to the page about services, I can say, hey, you know, you've gotten a resource from us, we'd love to take the next step. So that's an easy way uh, to then use tracked contacts. And then segmented lists uh, would be, uh, we have a different video about how to set up those lists. Maybe it's by personas. Um, but if you wanted to show this chat only to people that were part of a list, so let's say it's only people that went to an event that you held, um, that would be why you'd wanna use this here. And then you could choose that list. And then you can also choose to hide the um, chat flow from people here. So if I choose everyone, I'm gonna show this one to everyone. And then here on this, when I say when, is the exact pages that I want it to show up on or not show up on. So if the website URL is all pages, it's gonna show up on all pages of my site. Um, if the website URL is not, I can choose a page to exclude. So for instance, if you have a maybe like more specific uh, chat about like sales conversations, you might not wanna show that to people that hit your careers page. And you might wanna have a career specific chat for people who visit that page versus you don't want that to show on you know, the home page. So this is where you would customize that. Um, there's also a, you know, this is a pretty standard for uh, URL 
uh, mapping so you can choose what pages show up and what don't. And then you have an or, which means you can have uh, various configurations of this together. So we're gonna keep this as website is, um, and we'll actually just put our website in here. We'll say careers, okay? So this is basically gonna be a careers bot. Uh, and then our options would be, um, you know, these are some of those GDPR um, compliant things here. And then our options for a language. So if I want to preview what this looks like, there we go. So Ali and Jason, right now we are away. So that's what the away message would look like. And then if I choose to restart it, it's going to pop back up. And again, in our settings right now, I'm set as a way, so that's what this looks like. Um, I'm gonna close this. You wanna name your chat flow. So if this happens to be just a careers page chat flow, um, I'm gonna say careers page chat. And then this little toggle here, I can go ahead and turn that on. And I'm saving that. And when I go back to chat flows, then I have this careers page chat. So if you go through the uh, process of setting up different chats on different uh, pages or different areas of your site, you're gonna have several different uh, things set up here, and then you can toggle them on and toggle them off. So I'm going to toggle this one off and turn our default message back on. If you ever want to go in here and actually change the message, you can click into edits and we can go ahead and change this um, and then go back to chat flows and again, uh, turn that on or turn that off. So again, real quick reminder of how to find this because um, sometimes things change and it's hard to remember, where do I change that chat? Um, when I go in here to uh, chat flows, that's where we're at right now. When someone has a chat conversation with you on the website, uh, that's going to be stored over here in inbox. So again, now that we're at our portal, this is what the inbox looks like. And I can look at what's assigned to me, what's unassigned, uh, how the bots managed it. So that's what the inbox uh, looks like. And that's how to manage that. And that's it. That's how to set up HubSpot with live chat on your website. For more HubSpot hacks, how-tos, and tips, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. We'll make sure and hit them in a future video.